Today, we are going to be talking about assimilation, accommodation, and the process of organizing categories of information and the relationship among them. First, we will start off by defining the differences between assimilation and accommodation. Assimilation is the process of taking in and fully understanding information or ideas. Accommodation refers to when the exposure to new information or experiences cause you to modify your existing schemas, which are patterns of thought and behavior. To make it easier to grasp onto these concepts, we will now illustrate both with examples. Accommodation. A little boy has a dog that is furry and small, so when the kid sees a cat for the first time, he calls it a dog because it is small and furry as well. After his mother corrects him and tells him that the second animal is not a dog, but a cat, the kid modifies his existing schema and realizes that not all furry, small animals are dogs. The kid refers to the cat as a cat and not as a dog. For accommodation to happen, it is necessary for you to learn and change your thinking to accommodate to new information. To remember this, it's easier to think of accommodation as equaling change. With assimilation, you use current schemas to interpret the world around you. A kid thinks of a car as having four doors and being red. Once his uncle shows up and picks him up in a white truck, he realizes that color and style of cars vary and changes his idea of the way cars look. To remember this information, it's easier to think of assimilation as being old knowledge.